Alrighty then, hello and welcome to another tank review by Isle for Cleanup. That's me. All right, so what we're going to be taking a look at today is going to be the Javelin. I know that we're a little late in getting this review out, but hopefully somebody will find it and it will help them give them some good information about it. The Javelin is a Tier 7 premium tank. sees up to Tier 9. It is a German tank destroyer. It plays a bit like the Borsig, does not have any armor, so to speak. Take a quick look at it. The turret armor is 20 in the front, 10 on each side. It does have spaced armor, so you may get lucky that it has a little bit of spaced armor around the turret and the hole. That could help if someone is spamming some heat at you, maybe something like a, a tier 8 medium, I mean the tier 8 light. So something like that might work for you. It has the 8.8 centimeter pack, 43 L71 OSF A. Aim time is 1.9, accuracy 0.33, engine power 220. Not a bad tank overall as far as speed goes. Aim time and accuracy. Aim time is really good. Accuracy could be a little bit better for a very low armored, must hide, stay back tank destroyer but not bad at 0.33. You'll enjoy the gun. Doesn't really have many times when I played it that it trolled me, so I didn't really run into any problems with that. Its traverse speed is 26 degrees per second. View range 360, so a little bit low on the view range. The way that I equipped my Javelin is I set it up with a camo net, medium caliber tank rammer, and the binoculars. It, Like I said, it does stay back. It does have a fully traversable turret, so you can swing all the way around. So something you definitely want to take advantage of, staying back, staying hidden, using your binox. Maybe if you're up, up enough, using the camo factors on it. Uh, I do run half and half on the ammo and then six HEs. So half AP, half APCR, and six AP. I run a larger pair kit. A large first aid kit and chocolate to give it a little extra boost, especially since you cannot use vents on this particular vehicle. Taking back a look at the packages, you've got 203 on your standard rounds, 237 on your premium rounds, 44 on your HE. Its average damage is 240, 295 on the HE. So something to keep be aware of as you are looking at fighting tier nines. You definitely want to keep a healthy amount of AP CR on this tank. All right, let's take a quick look at the viewer. The gun, the 8.8 pack, has 8 degrees of gun depression. It's going to be over the sides and the back, not over the front, obviously, with the rear-mounted turret. So you want to make sure that you're getting in good positions to use what gun depression you can. A lot of times I'll pull up into an area, come into it backwards, let my cam on it set up, and shoot that way. It has the, like I said, view range at 360, so not a lot of view range. The Binox will come in handy if you can get up quick enough to a place and stay hidden. Should be pretty good. The particular crew I'm running on it right now is Camo, Camo, Silent Shot, View Range, View Range, Snapshot, and then a few others. So you definitely want to make sure that you got your sixth sense on this tank because when you're spotted, you're dead. So you got to be, you got to know when you're spotted as soon as possible to try to get away. Brothers in Arms, your camo perks, and then your vision perks if you're going to use this tank like that as a crew trainer or build up TD crews with it. Those are the ones you want to focus on. And then I went into like repair, snapshot, uh, clutch braking. Clutch braking wasn't bad at all. Definitely needed along the way. Off-road driving and jack of all trades because very easy to lo use. Lose crews in this tank. So you can see that it doesn't have any armor at all, but you can see the spaced armor over the tracks and the spaced arm around the turret. All in all, if you are a TD player and you like to play TDs and you're not up looking to be on the front line, this is a really, really good tank that when it becomes available or it's for sale, I would definitely recommend purchasing it if this is if you're looking to spend some, some real money on a premium tanking game. It's a good earner. It does really well. It puts together a very solid game for you. And, you know, in a Tier 7 game where you're top tier, there are points when you actually can carry by moving quickly. It's got a fast reload, so it's not bad at all. We will finish this garage view with that. 